Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Four More Minutes. I am Sam Bailey, the Soul Stir, stirring up your hearts and your minds for God. I want to say happy Wednesday to you. I hope and pray that all is well with you and your family. I hope your week has been going by, uh, by well. They call this hump day, right? Getting over the hump, headed toward the end of the week. And so, yeah, it, it, it's a good day. I want to encourage you, if you can, join us tonight on our Wednesday night Bible study. It will be on the Soul Stir on YouTube, as well as my Facebook page, as well as the Seed of Our Church page. Uh, and we're going to talk about uh, happiness. Why is it so difficult for so many people to find happiness, especially in these days and time? And is there a difference between happiness and, and real joy that's lasting and happiness that, that's fleeting? Today, I want to talk about feedback. Feedback can be both positive and, and negative. Feedback is a word that we, we say we want and we like to hear, but it all just depends on several factors. So first of all, it can be positive or it can be negative. Sometimes the difference between how we receive the feedback and how we reject the feedback is the source of it. It could be somebody who you love and who you admire uh, and they can tell you something that you don't like, but you can receive it because it goes back to that consider the source, right? Sometimes it's some people that tell us some things sometimes and they actually could be right. But because we don't like them, we're less likely to receive that because of the source of the person. I want to tell you that if you happen to get some feedback from a person that you actually don't like, what you need to do is learn how to decipher to, through, filter through what you like. What I do is I often, uh, uh, because I try to be spirit led and try to uh, be discern things through the spirit, the spirit will tell me, that you need to keep this, you need to discard that. It's like cutting the fat off of it. I believe that that God can use anything, even an enemy, uh, to to teach you something, uh, to learn something. I may not tell them that, <laughs> but I have to, in my private time, in my solitude, in my prayer, I might have to, if I'm honest with myself, say that, you know what, they were right about that. That is the truth. But uh, sometimes it doesn't always easy to receive that. It's not always easy to see that because of how your enemy uh, or somebody who's in opposition to your a hater, they always want to see you. They're looking forward to, they can't wait to give you something negative uh, about it. Positive feedback, that is what the scripture would call edify, right? And it's important for us to know how to do that. It's an art that even if you're not quite in agreement with the way somebody does something, that you still know how to give the correct feedback. I think we have to learn how to our own selves give the right type of feedback to people. Uh, feedback that edifies them or even if you are critical of something that the criticism that's nothing wrong with criti criticism we got to learn how to take criticism better all of us are going to experience criticism I know it, it you know and I'm I've been in leadership positions probably my whole adult life and even as a student I've been in leadership position one thing I've learned is that you can't be sensitive you've got to learn how to take criticism and I, I'm just like anybody else sometimes I do consider the source uh, because there are some people who never encourage you, they never uplift you, but they're the first ones to jump in and step in when they think you did something wrong or there's something that you don't like. And you got to learn how to receive them as well. One of the things is you got to know how to dismiss stuff. You know, it's kind of like, as they say, letting water roll off of a duck's back. I would think we take too much stuff to heart. If you know who you are and you know who God has made you to be, you don't have to be defined by anybody else, you know, and that is your choice whether you accept it or reject the feedback or the criticism. But I know that everything that we go through, everything we go through only makes us stronger if we receive it, if we learn from it, if we grow from it, if we trust that God is with us, that God has us, that God has our back, and, and, and it's not losses, it's just lessons. We, we learn from it, we strengthen from it, and there's so much uh, to gain. So as we go through this life, let us learn how to navigate the world, <laughs> the complex world of feedback, both positive and negative, both as givers and of, of receivers. Uh, and if we do that, we can grow, we can grow. Everything is about growth, y'all. I've been, been talking about this week. There are obstacles to your growth, and, it's, and you've got to realize that yourself. And all I can do is help to remove some of those obstacles and barriers of thinking uh, that keep us binded and bonded in old ways, old habits, old thoughts, and old actions. So that's all I have for today. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless you. Enjoy your day. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Four More Minutes. Thank you.